Another way to solve quadratic systems to get a more exact answer is to use substitution or linear combination. I'm going to show you substitution first. First, you look at the two systems and see if one of them solves easily for one variable. And this linear system solves for x rather easily. Watch this. x equals 3 minus 6y. Now, this is going to be my substitution. I'm going to place, in place of that x, 3 minus 6y. So, 3 minus 6y squared minus 9y squared equals 9. I still have a little bit of a mess here. I need to multiply 3 minus 6y times 3 minus 6y. And most of you can do this in your head, so let's do that. Okay, so multiplying this out, I get 9 minus 36y. 3 times 6 is 18 times 2. You get minus 36y plus 36y squared. I have this minus 9y squared equals 0. Oop, equals 9. Now let's subtract 9 from both sides and let's rearrange this. So the 9's are gone. Let's put 36y squared first, minus 9y squared minus 36y equals 0. More like terms here. How about 36 minus 9? Ooh, 27 y squared minus 36y equals 0. Does that sound about right? Factor out a common factor. They both have a y. What else? 9. 9y. 3y minus 4 equals 0. Double check. 3 times 9, 27. 9 times 4, 36. We're good. All right. Set both of these equal to 0. 9y equals 0, so y equals 0. Um, 3y minus 4 equals 0, y equals 4 thirds. Hope you don't mind, I skipped a step. Now, I'm not done. I need the full ordered pair that works for this equation. So, if y is 0, what's the x? Go into the easiest one of these. How about this one? y is 0, x is 3. So, 3, 0 is an ordered pair that works. And another one is y is 4 thirds. So if I put 4 thirds in there, 3 minus 6 times 4 thirds, that's pretty easy too. 3 minus 8, what is 3 minus 8? Negative 5 pairs with 4 thirds. So that is the solution, the two points where these graphs cross if I sketched the graph. So, algebraically, you get the exact answer here as long as you don't do an arithmetic error. Okay, let's go with another substitution problem to solve for the, um, solve the system. Again, solve one of them for x or y. This one's easier to solve, so I'm going to solve it. x, y equals 3, y equals 3 over x. That's going to be my substitution in place of y in the other equation. So solving one and substituting for the other. So now I'm going to have 4x squared minus 3 over x squared equals 5. So I'm going to square that. So let's write 4x squared. Let's put a line here so we don't get confused. Minus 9 over x squared equals 5. Now, we still have a fraction in this. We could multiply all the parts by x squared and get the fraction to disappear and have a problem that doesn't have any fractions. So let's do that. We're going to multiply the whole problem by x squared. It means I distribute it to all three parts. So I haven't changed the value. I've just made it look different x squared times 4x squared, 4x to the fourth. x squared times 9 over x squared, minus 9. x squared times 5, 5x squared. All right, let's
let's get the problem equal to zero. 4x squared minus 5x minus 9 equals zero. All right, so I'm still solving the system. What do I do now? Well, how about factor? You know how to factor. Now, I like to set up two parentheses here to remind me that I could use 4x squared. Oh boy, copied that wrong, didn't I? That's 4x to the fourth, and this is 5x squared. Be careful. So, 4x squared and 1x squared, or 2x squared and 2x squared. I'm trying to get a 5 in the middle, right? Factors of 9, 3 and 3, or 1 and 9. Got any quick thoughts? I'm going to go for the 1 and the 9. Let's go with minus 9 plus 1, because I know 9 minus 4 is 5. So, thinking in my head here a little bit, but you can do that too. All right, let's just double check the middle term. This is negative 9x squared. This is 4x squared. They add up to negative 5. So, I'm good with that answer. Then, what do I do? Set each one of these equal to 0. So, 4x squared minus 9 equals 0, so it equals 9. And x squared equals negative 1. Square root both sides. 2x equals plus or minus 3. Uh-oh. x squared can never equal a negative. No solution on that part there. Be careful. No solution happens once in a while. So x equals plus or minus 3 halves. That's two answers. 3 halves minus 3 halves for x. Now remember, we need to get the ordered pairs that are solution. And Remember when we talked about this a while back, we said you could have four or three or two or one or zero solutions to systems like this. So in this one, I have a case where x could be three halves and another situation where x could be minus three halves. Let's check out what happens when I plug those in. So where do I want to go? Which one is easier? How about right here? So y equals 3 over 3 halves, which is, do you know what that is? That's 3 divided by 3 halves, 3 times 2 thirds. Hey, that comes out to a 2. That's nice. All right, what happens when I put negative 3 halves in there? Negative 2. So we got two nice answers to this problem. The part that had no solution, don't worry about it. Just Identify that you figure that out. Okay, in this system of equations, I'm going to solve a different way. The, the first two ways I solved problems, you'll, you'll remember I used substitution. I'm going to try a linear combination here. Because I notice if this was a minus 3y, I could get y squareds to cancel out in both of them. So, here's my neat little trick. Times this whole equation by minus 3. I always put notes on what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to write it underneath here. Minus 3 times x, minus 3x squared. Minus 3 times y squared, minus 3y squared. Minus 3 times 7, minus 21. Watch what happens. I'm going to add 1x squared. 3y squared minus 3y squared, gone. I like that part. Equals what? 3. So finish solving. Take the square root of both sides. x equals plus or minus root 3. So x equals root 3 and minus root 3. So um, once I get the values for x, I go back in and find some values for y that goes with it. Because I need ordered pairs. So it looks like I could have an ordered pair with a root 3 and an ordered pair with a minus root 3 for x. We need to find the y that goes with it. We can go to either equation. I'm going to the first one because it looks like it will be a little bit easier. In place of x squared, what am I going to put? Right there, root 3. So, root 3. When I square root 3, I get 3 plus y squared equals 7. 
y squared equals minus 3 to both sides, 4, y equals plus or minus 2. Notice I got two answers for that root 3. So look what happens here. I have to put both of them. There's two ordered pairs. Hmm. All right. Let's try that one now. So let's do the setup again. I'm putting a minus root 3 in here. When I square minus root 3 times minus root 3, I get 3 plus y squared equals 7. Subtract 3. y squared equals 4. y equals plus or minus 2. Two there, and then minus root 3, negative 2. Four answers. So even though I plugged in one value for x, I got two y's both times. So this system has four solutions. That's the most you will get is four on the systems that you're solving for me on this stuff.